only in the U.S. You will just suck all the passion out of the passionate teachers because of really corrupt educational system. Gianni, from a business perspective, I'll get to that now. Um, it is interesting to see how Professor Bari almost transitions that with so much ease. That business science uh, and art are all interlinked. Do you have any other views that you want to add here? Well, the, the reflection that comes to mind as I listen to you, Professor, is um, what you mentioned just now about passionate teachers. I think the, the, the danger, perhaps, is that our teachers are being pigeonholed into having to adhere to certain check checkbox kind of teaching, whereas one could discover. So indeed, emphasizing the, the holistic remarkability of being human. I think that it's much more fun to really discover. I think it's much more fun, the pursuit of knowledge is much more fun than just the, somebody telling you to your face something uh, something like, I don't know, biology or mathematics. I think that it's much more fun to let your student discover what you want them to learn instead of just telling it straight to their face. So not tell. It's a, co a common classic in writing, but we never use it in math and science. See, you had a question. Thank you. Um, thank you, uh, Prof. Ben. And um, thank you very much, Prof. Um, Bari. Uh, it's, it's truly an honor to, to be here and listen to you. Um, a spectacular mind, indeed. I'm still on the problem of consciousness. Um, my first encounter with this problem is when I was still heavily involved in software development. I was maybe 16 or 17. And I built an algorithm, which I called an ant farm, because I wanted to program ants to become um, uh, self-conscious, so to speak, um, in a little canvas. And I discovered that the problem is, is, it's actually, I eventually gave up trying to sort it out um, because I had to create all sorts of permutations when they're hungry, wh what they need. I had to e essentially create an entire universe of ants just to maybe rehash my question, is self-preservation or the need for self-preservation a hindrance for technology development? Thank you. Thanks. I feel like, I feel like it's self-preservation as a hindrance to technology, the technological development, when we get too far in and we start thinking about AI and Android victims and that of the like, I feel like it might serve as a hindrance, but also technological development is not necessarily always good. We can always use technological development for the better, but uh, the, when you have consciousness, then AIs, uh, then AIs might have feelings too, and AIs can have feelings of brutality. AI can uh, try and wipe out humanity because if you give an AI, the, the, if you give an AI this sort of thing, this sort of goal, to, uh, if you give an AI feelings, then it will either pick brutality because that's what we humans naturally pick back when all you had to do was survive and uh, not, well, have to be in peace, have, uh, and you know, the things you did now didn't affect the things you did later. But now we live in a kind of environment where that kind of sort of brutality is outclassed. But I feel like the same kind of development will happen to AIs. And so when we begin developing AIs, they will have this kind of need to kill, need for brutality. And we still sometimes do, hint war. And so the thing is, I feel like AI will have this tendency to try and wipe out humanity if it sees that that's blocking its goal. If an AI wants to do something and the human gets in the way, then what will happen to that human, we don't know. It's like uh, on the road. If you have a car and the human gets in its way, you don't know what will happen. So it's kind of, AI is kind of like the same thing. So I think that 
this kind of uh, prin uh, principle of andro rhythms and self preservation, I feel like uh, well, that that would definitely sort of be a hindrance. But uh, it would a technological development would not necessarily be good at that point if self preservation is being endangered by technological development.